Hello, Mr. Amari here again with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to access the NYC DOE iLearn page and how to look up your username and password using your OSIS number in order to log into your iLearn account. The first thing you have to do is just open up your browser of choice, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, and in your address bar just type www.ilearnnyc.net and that will bring you to the NYC DOE official page for the iLearn program. Once there, if this is your first time trying to log in, simply scroll down to where it said, I am signing in for the first time. Once you do this, they'll have steps for you to follow in order to sign in for the first time. The most important thing is to make sure you have your nine digit OSIS number. If you do not know your nine digit OSIS, OSIS number, please reach out to your school's parent coordinator to find out what your nine digit OSIS number is. When you click on this link, it'll bring you to the student account self-service page. On the student account self-service page, you'll be asked to put in your OSIS number and your date of birth. Once you hit the continue button, it'll give you your username, and then it'll give you the opportunity to enter a new password. Make sure that your password follows the requirements listed in the bullet points. Make sure it is a minimum of eight characters long. Make sure it's something that only you can remember and you do not share it with anyone else. And make sure it does not contain your last name, your first name, or any part of your username. Once you've successfully updated your password and you've gotten your username, it'll prompt you to sign into your DOE student account. Do not sign in here for iLearn. iLearn currently does not show up on the NYC DOE student account homepage. To log into iLearn, simply go back to the iLearnNYC.net page and find where it says sign in. Click on the button where it says sign in and here put in your username and the password that you created. From there it will bring you to your iLearn homepage. Once you're here, you'll find any announcements that your teachers have put from your courses and any courses you're enrolled in. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other trouble logging in or if you have any other questions about the iLearn account, you can always contact your parent coordinator. Uh, I will have contact information in the description of this video uh, for students at Roy H. Mann on how to contact somebody to help you out with your login process. Stay tuned as we will be posting more videos on how to use different aspects of the iLearn platform.